Australia's spy chief has sounded the alarm on foreign interference, revealing more overseas agents are operating inside the country now than during the Cold War. Live now to political reporter Eliza Edwards. Eliza, the ASIO boss also revealed a sleeper agent was operating here uh, and it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, that's right. This sleeper agent had been operating in Australia for years, gathering intelligence on dissidents before being caught by ASIO and thrown out of the country. These unprecedented details were revealed by the ASIO Director General Mike Burgess last night in his first annual threat assessment without naming any countries. He spoke about foreign spies intimidating Australians here, working closely with universities with the intention of gathering intelligence. He had this stark assessment of the threat of espionage in Australia. The level of threat we face from foreign espionage and foreign interference activities is currently unprecedented. It is now higher than it was at the height of the Cold War. And Eliza, the threat of terrorism, well, it also remains very high. Yeah, that's right. The ASIO Director General also said that terrorism and countering terrorism is the agency's number one mission. The number of active leads have doubled in the past year and the threat of right-wing extremism is still one of the most challenging threats. He had this to say about the current terror threat level. ASIO has previously assessed and stated publicly the threat posed by terrorism in Australia has plateaued to an unacceptably high level. This is sometimes misunderstood as the fact that the threat has simply plateaued. So let me be clear, the threat from terrorism is probable at home and will remain so an unacceptably high level for the seeable future. So some rare insight into ASIO's operations. Mike Burgess also revealed that new anti-terror uh, encryption laws were used almost immediately after passing Parliament in 2018. Laura and Pete. 